dance. Here we go. All right, what's up? We're back, and we are at level two now. Well, congratulations on making it through level one. Here we go. Now we're going to pick it up a notch, and I brought back some very special friends. We got Rachel, 161 pounds lost in a year. That's fantastic. And we got LaRonda, 202 pounds lost in one year. And of course, you guys remember Kat from level one? And I brought my boy Clint. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right, now remember, we're going to be doing the exact same moves that Rachel and LaRonda did the whole year for them to lose the weight. And remember, you can too. But it's all about progression. That's why we take it from level one to level two. And then we're going to get down into level three. But let's focus on level two right now. It's going to be an awesome workout. We're going to start with the warm-up. Then we're going to move into what we call shredders. Three minutes low intensity, two minutes medium intensity, one minute high intensity. And while that heart rate's up, we're going to move into what we call the core circuit and then into the dirty 30. So come on now, guys. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're going to have a great time. Just stay with us. Remember, if you ever need to take a break, by all means, take a break. Then jump right back down into it. You guys ready to go? Yeah. All right, we're going to start with the warm-up with arm crosses. In four, three, two, one. Here we go now. Good. Right here. Nice and easy. Just warming up. Just moving your upper body. Now, don't shrug those shoulders too much. Keep them down. Just stretch and contract through the chest. How are you guys feeling? Good. I love these. You know, it's the greatest way to start out a workout because it's not too much. And it's like, wait a second, as soon as you start moving, you think, I can do that. All right, I'm feeling good. Get the blood flowing right here, guys. Come on now. You want to just bounce with it a little bit. There you go. Bounce with it. <laughs> All right, in five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to take it from the upper body down to the core. We're going to bring it down to the mat. I want you guys on the ground, facing up, arms out to the side. Feet flat on the floor, knees together, shoulders anchored down. We're going to take those knees over in four, three, two, one. Let's take them over. Good. Keep those knees together now. And up. Three, two, one, and over. Three, two, one. You guys got the timing down. Good. The challenge here is going to be keeping those shoulders anchored on the mat. They're going to try to pop up on you. So just focus on that. Excellent. And keep breathing. Remember, guys, this is a warm-up, so nice and easy. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center. Slowly roll it over. Now we're going to warm up the spine. We're going to bring it back into child's pose, knees wide. Toes together, reach for the top of the mat, touch your forehead to the mat, stretch it out. It feels good, doesn't it? Take a deep breath in for me. And exhale. And we're gonna shift it forward. In four, three, two, one, shift. Beautiful, and from here, drop those hips to the mat. Peel those shoulders back away from the ears. Get a good stretch through there. Warm up your body. Wake it up. It's about to move. And we're going to push it back in four, three, two, one, and push it back. All right. Excellent. Once again, take a deep breath in here and exhale. Get ready to shift in four, three, two, one, and shift it forward. Excellent. Feels good. Oh, yeah. Get ready to move here. In four, three, two, one. Push it all the way back. Great job. And let's bring it up onto all fours. Let's take that one leg forward like you're taking a knee. Go ahead and rest your hands on your thighs, and let's lean forward into it. Now, this is going to be the last of the stretches that we're doing. We're going to go through just a few of these, and we're going to get down into the workout. But really, congratulations on progressing to level two. It's going to be a little bit more challenging, though, but I know you can do it. You guys, we're going to switch it up. In four, three, two, one. Let's switch legs. Lean into it so you feel that pull through the front of your thigh. Excellent. Keep that hand resting on that thigh. There you go. In. Four, three, two, one. We're going to switch again. There it is. And even if some of these moves are a little bit too difficult, that's fine. If you need to put your hands out on the mat as you switch through, that's OK. Ready, guys? Let's switch. And these are the exact same moves that I did with Veranda and Rachel over the last year. You recognize? In four, three, two, one. Let's switch. 
Good, lean into it. All right, guys, one more on the other side, and we're gonna get started. In four, three, two, one, let's switch. So if you need to put your hands down, slowly bring that leg forward. That's okay. This is all about your journey. Excellent. Four, three, two, one. Now slowly stand it up. If you need to put your hands on the ground, that's okay. Stand it up. Now sure enough, that warm up can sometimes, it can feel like a workout to some, and that's okay. Remember, this is all about you. It's all about pacing yourself. We're here for you. So, are you guys feeling warmed up? Yeah. You ready? All right, let's go. All right, guys, it's shredder time. So. As you're going through this, if at any time you're having a little bit of dif difficulty, keep an eye on LaRonda. She's gonna be doing the modified version. So she, everything's scaled down for her. So you guys ready to go? Yeah. All right, we're gonna start by jumping rope. You guys ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Jumping rope. Nice and easy. This is just all about getting the heart rate up. Focus on the breathing. Now, take a look at LaRonda. She's doing that modified version as I was talking about. Her toes stay on the ground, her heels are coming up. How you doing in there, LaRonda? You're moving. I love it. <laughs> All right, nice and easy. Now, if that's too easy for you, watch us. We're throwing a little spring in the step. Just jumping rope. Here we go in four, three, two, one. Okay, the next move that we're gonna do is called a jab, cross, hook, hook. You guys ready? All right, in four, three, two, one, here we go. Jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross, hook, hook. Good. Now, if you want, throw a little bounce in there. Make it total body. Good. Or just fill with the upper body. If lower body is a little bit too challenging in there. Good. That's it right there. And keep it moving. And keep it breathing. Really important, guys. Go ahead and four more seconds. Three. Two, one, all right, here we go. Now, the next move we're gonna do is what we call the speed skater. Now, watch me here. I'm gonna step over to one side. I'm gonna bring that foot behind me. Step over to the other side, bring that foot behind me. You guys ready to go? In four, three, two, let's go. We step and step, good. Just like that, nice and easy. Now, take a look at LaRonde over here, good. What she's done is she's just slowed down that step. She's simply stepping over very close and bringing that foot behind. But if you want, you watch us, you can throw a little spring in the step. Good. Excellent. And remember, guys, everything should be done at your pace. You're doing a great job. This is level two. So you might find this challenging, but that's what this is all about. In four more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we're gonna go through that one more time. You guys ready to jump rope again? Are you ready? All right, here we go. In four, three, two, one, let's go jump rope. Now you guys got it. Good. You know, it's so funny, because a year ago, there's no way you could have even come close to doing anything like this. And look at you now, 161 pounds later. Absolutely amazing, amazing, right? And how do you feel? Amazing, you hear that? That's what this is all about. And that's exactly how you're gonna be feeling when you're done with this workout. Here we go, keep it going, guys. In four, three, two, one. Okay, now jab, cross, hook, hook. You guys ready? In four, three, two, let's go. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Keep it moving, good. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Oh, LaRonda, you ready? Yeah. This girl's a fighter right here. Show them what you got, here we go. Jab, cross, hook. That's it. Nice. Boy, well, we spent some time throwing, <laughs> yes, we throwing did. pads, didn't we? But what a great way to burn some calories. Keep it going now. And jab, cross, hook, hook. Two more. Last one. All right, now we're gonna move into those speed skaters. You guys ready? Yes. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. We step. That's it. Good. Upper body and lower body. Get those arms moving. Just enjoy that range of motion. It feels good to be alive, doesn't it? That's it right there. Good, and keep breathing. That's what this is all about. It's the human body in motion. Beautiful, guys. Keep it moving. We're almost done. 
This is a three minute low intensity. We're about to move it up into two minutes higher medium intensity. And last one, great job. So now we're gonna move it up into the two minutes of medium intensity here. We're gonna start with butt kicks. You guys ready? Here we go. In four, three, two, one, let's go. All right. I feel that heart rate coming up. Now take a look at LaRonda. She's doing the modified version over here where one foot is always on the ground. Excellent, this is lower intensity, so if you need to do this, that's fine. Or even if you need to take a break altogether and it's getting to be a little bit too much, that's fine too, just jump right back into it. Good guys, in four, three, two, one. Okay, now this is a fun one, I love doing these. These are called duck uppercuts, you guys like these too. This is what it looks like, we go duck, uppercut, duck, Uppercut, you guys ready? Yeah. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Duck, uppercut, duck, uppercut. That's it right there. Lower body and upper body. Nice. Definitely gets the heart rate up. You guys feeling it? Now once again, I know you're probably feeling this at home. So if it's a little too difficult, you can always slow it down a little bit. Just get a little dip in there. Remember guys, this is all about your journey. Whatever you do is right. Then four more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's take it back to those high, the uh, butt kickers. You guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Butt kick. That's it right there. I'm gonna take it back with Clint and Cat. How are you guys doing over here? Woo. Feeling good. You're looking good. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Feeling good. good. Now this guy can move. I'm gonna show you some moves later. Here we go. Keep it going, guys. Beautiful. In four more seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, duck uppercuts. Ready? In four, three, two, one, let's go. That's it right there. Keep your body moving. Two minutes, medium intensity. Get it ready for that big one minute of high intensity. Heart rate's coming up. We want to warm that body up so we can blast it through the rest of this level two workout. Welcome to level two. You ain't in level one anymore, are ya? Here we go. In three, two, one. All right, here we go. Now, one minute high intensity. It's what we call the squat thrust. Let me demonstrate. Very close to the down and up in level one. We go hands down. We walk them out. We bring them back in and we stand up. You guys ready? Are you ready to go home? All right, now remember, keep an eye on LaRonda. She's doing the modified version. Here we go, into positions. In four, three, two, one, let's go. Good. And we stand it up. Right back down, we walk it out. We bring it in and we stand it up. LaRonda, this move means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yes, it does. When we first started, she could only do a couple of them. And if you can only do a couple of them at home, that's fine. It's all about progression. Because you know what, you didn't stop, did you? No. You kept doing them over and over and over again. And look at you now. This is it's like nothing. nothing. But it still gets the heart rate up. What a beautiful, beautiful total body movement, I love it. Now if you take a look at Clint over here, he's gonna do an advanced version here. When he jumps it back, and he jumps it forward, and he stands it up. That's beautiful right there. Jumps it back. Jumps it forward and stands it up. See, you can do anything that you want with these workouts. This is fantastic. Excellent, guys, last one. We're gonna take it down. One, bring it forward and stand it up. Guys, great job, great job. And that's the shredder, heart rate's up. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, guys, so while that heart rate's up, we're gonna move down into the core circuit. So watch me. Here's what we're gonna do. My knees are gonna be on the mat. I'm gonna walk it forward onto my elbows. We're gonna do something called the drawbridge. This is what it looks like. Drawbridge goes down, drawbridge comes up. Doesn't look that hard, but just wait. You guys ready to go? Come on down, join me. Here we go. Down on the mat, into the drawbridge position. In three, two, one, let's go. Drawbridge goes down, drawbridge comes right back up. Good, and down for two, up. For two, that's it right there, down. For two, and up. For two, now take a look at LaRonda. She's doing that modified version where she doesn't take her hips all the way down to the ground. Good, and up. For two, excellent, down. For two, 
and up. This is all core right here. You can feel it in there. In four, three, two, one, take a quick break. I want you to roll it over, facing up, feet flat on the ground, extend those arms overhead. We're gonna do what we call the suitcase crunch. This is what it looks like. I crunch it forward, I bring that knee up as I'm raising those hands overhead. Here we go, you guys ready to go? Yes. In four, three, two, here we go. Suitcase crunch, and down for two. Good, up for two, and down for two, that's it. Up for two, down for two. Upper and lower abs, I love going after these core muscles. The core is the center of the body. That's where all movement stems from. So important that we can develop it when we're going through the total body transformation. Excellent. In three, two, one. All right, great job, guys. Go ahead and roll it back over, facing down into what we call Superman. I'm gonna demonstrate first. We're gonna extend those arms all the way overhead, squeeze your glutes, push them into the ground, and we raise the arms and legs up. And we come slowly right back down. It's gonna be a two count. You guys ready? In four, three, two, one. Let's go squeeze it up. And down for two. It's a very small motion, but you sure feel it in there, don't you? Up for two, and down for two. Good, now take a look at the modifier here. LaRonda, she has her toes on the ground. She's just raising her upper body up off to the ground. She's still squeezing those glutes and she's feeling it through that lower back. This is beautiful right here. Good, up for two, and down for two. In three, two, one. Let's go ahead and get right back up into that drawbridge position. Elbows down on the mat. You guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. In four, three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Now I'm gonna throw a little challenge at you. And up for two. Good. I'm gonna come over here to Rachie. As she's going through this, here's what I want you to do. As she comes up, you squeeze those knees and the elbows together and you feel it through the core that much more. Ready, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Beautiful, ready? And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, guys, last one. That's it. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful, guys. Go ahead and roll it back over. Facing up, getting ready for that suitcase crunch. Here we go. Extend those arms overhead, feet flat on the ground. In four, three, two, one. Let's go up for two and down for two. Good. Now at home, once again, if he's a little bit too challenging, you can always take a break for a couple seconds and then take it right back up where you left off. Remember, there is no wrong way to exercise. You're out here doing it. That is a victory in and of itself, isn't it, guys? Yeah. Keep it going. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go ahead and roll it over into the Superman position. Extend those arms overhead. Get ready. Squeeze those glutes. In four, three, two, one. Let's squeeze. And down for two. Good. Squeeze it up. And down for two. We take a look at LaRonda over here. Her toes are staying on the ground. And she goes down for two. Good. And up for two. And down for two. This is beautiful. You feel it in there. You get so much through that lower back there. That's beautiful. And up for two. And down for two. Good. Last one. And as we come back down, let's go ahead and push it all the way back into child pose. Stretch it out. And get ready for the next part. It is time for the Dirty 30s. Oh yeah. So it's gonna be 30 seconds each movement, but it's gonna be a little bit repetitive, so I'm gonna challenge you here. We're gonna modify it and get down into it again. You guys ready? ready. All right, we're gonna be on your belly, facing down, hands just wider than the shoulders, elbows out to the side. Here we go in four, three, Two wide press, let's go. Up for two, down for two, good. Up for two, and down for two. Now take a look at LaRonda, she's our modifier. She's doing that modified version, leaving her hips on the ground and doing that baby up. That's good, I love it right there. This is looking beautiful. Up for two, and down for two. Chest, shoulders, triceps. You're gonna start to feel a burn in there. In four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest it. Push it all the way back 
into the child's pose. Excellent, shake it out. Because we're about to modify it, do it again. Ready? Narrow push up, shift it all the way forward. Now let's bring those hands in a little bit closer, directly underneath your shoulders. Tuck those elbows in tight like you're squeezing a dollar bill in your armpit. You guys ready? In four, three, two, let's go. Up for two, down. Oh yeah, wait a second. There's those triceps. Where were they? Up for two, and down for two. Once again, Veranda is the modifier over there, leaving those hips on the ground. Now, let's take a look at Clint over here. Tucked in beautifully. Now he's also a little bit more challenging up on those toes from here. This is looking great. Keep it going, guys. I know it's burning right now, but you can do it. Keep it going. In four, three, two, one. Push it all the way back into the child's pose. Great job. Now from here, let's go ahead and stand it up. Slowly, you can put your hands on the ground. Slowly stand up. We're gonna move into squats. We've got 30 seconds of squats. You guys ready to go? All right, heels are gonna be shoulder width. We're gonna use the hands as a counterbalance. In four, three, two, let's go. Down for two, up for two. Take a look at LaRonda, she's our modifier here. She's not going too deep, just a shallow dip for her. And up for two, slow and controlled here. Biggest muscle group of the body. You know what that means? It burns a lot of calories. Come on, guys, this is like our V12 engine right here. Down for two, it burns a lot of fuel. Good, and if it burns a lot of fuel, it means it burns a lot of fat. Keep it going. In four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna move into the alternating back lunge. You guys ready to go? Here we go. In four, three, two, let's go. Alternating down and up. Switch back, down, and up. Now take a look at LaRonda over here. She's our modifier. She's just simply stepping back and dipping. And you know what though? Just that alone, she gets so much out of it. Now keep in mind, if this is a little bit too difficult for you, you can always stop, shake it off, and get right back down into it, isn't that right? Yeah. That's how we do these transformations. If you can't do everything right off the bat, that's okay, you stop and you get right back down into it. It's about working smarter, not harder. Here we go, guys. In four, keep it going. Three, two, one, excellent. Let's take it back over to the mat. All right, guys, round two of the Dirty 30s. You know what we gotta do, push up position, wide press. Hands wide, elbows out to the side. Three, two, one, let's go. Up for two, down for two. Good, I didn't give you that much of a break this time. Down for two, good, up for two. Guys, this is level two, it's supposed to be a challenge. Welcome to level two, I love it. Rachie pushing her way over here. She was doing the modified version at first, and now look at her. 161 pounds later, doing the push-ups from the knees. This is so beautiful. And how'd you do it? That's it. She was pushing. She never quit. That's what it's all about. Keep it going, guys. Last one. And come all the way back down. And now push it back into the child's pose. Stretch it out. Good. All right, guys. We've got one more set of push-ups. We're going to bring it forward into that narrow press. In three, two, one. Let's bring it forward. Let's get those hands directly underneath the shoulders. Squeeze those arms in tight. You know those triceps are about to feel it. Here we go. Now, in four, three, two, let's go. Up for two and down for two. Full extension on those elbows. Maximize that squeeze in the tricep. And up for two. Good. Down for two. Up for two. Push through this now. You can do this. Remember, if it's a little bit too difficult, you can always stop. You shake it out and you get right back down into it. But no matter what, you always finish what you started. So keep it going. I believe that you can. Almost there, guys. And last one. And bring it all the way down. Now push it back. You deserve a stretch. Child's pose. Great, great job. Good. Now slowly bring it up to standing. Put those hands on the ground if you need to while you're standing up. All right. Chest, shoulders, and triceps. They got burned there. Okay, moving into the squat, ready? In four, three, two, one. Here we go, we go down for two, and up for two. Good, down for two, up for two. These are deep squats right here. And if you wanna challenge yourself, you can take it way down deep with me and the rest of the crew, or watch LaRonda, she's doing the modified version. 
Good. Notice, heels, shoulder width, knees tracking wide, creating a hole so I can drop it down using those hands in the counterbalance. It burns in there, I know, keep it going. This is our last one. All the way up, we're gonna move into the alternating back lunge. You guys ready? Are you ready at home? We're almost there. Four, three, two, let's finish it strong. Let's go. Down for two, up for two. Good, down for two. My heart rate is still up in that shredder. Good, down for two, and up for two. I love it though, because this is when we get that incredible pump in the muscle. Such a beautiful thing, the human body in motion. Good, and keep it going. You know what's more beautiful than that? Is the mind overcoming the body in motion. I know it's talking to you right now, but you're strong enough to push through this. Good, because that's what it takes. Just ask Rachel and ask LaRonda. Good, here we go guys, last one. And bring it all the way up, and give yourself a pat on the back. That was great. Wow, okay, dirty 30s are done. Guys, we made it. We made it through the level two workout. All right, now it's time for the cool down. Let's start with the deltoid stretch. Go ahead and take that arm, bring it across your body. Hug it in tight, get that shoulder down away from the ear, don't shrug, take a deep breath in. And exhale, we're just gonna hold this here. Feels good, doesn't it? Especially after those dirty 30s. Wow, awesome. Just holding it here. Focus on the breathing, focus on the victory for the day. You made it through, that's fantastic. All right, guys, we're gonna hold this here for four more seconds. Three, two, one, switch arms. Shake it out, here we go. Bring it across the body. Get that shoulder down, there it is. Now deep breath in, and exhale. Just let the body relax. How are you guys feeling? Good. All right, we're gonna hold this for four more seconds. Three, two, one. Now let's take it down to the mat, back into that child's pose. We love this child's pose because we did a lot of pushing today. So, knees wide, toes touching, reach way forward on that mat. Try to touch your forehead to the mat. Take a deep breath in, stretch out the chest. And exhale. If you want, you can even walk those fingers forward just a little bit and you feel the increase in the stretch in there. Oh yeah. Just sink into it. You should be so proud of yourself for finishing this workout. And slowly shift it forward. Drop those hips to the mat. Pull those shoulders back away from those ears. Stretch out those abs, especially after that core circuit. Oh, wow. <laughs> The human body in motion, such a beautiful thing. We're just gonna hold this for a few more seconds here. Excellent, focus on that breathing for four more seconds. Three, two more seconds. One, great job, push it back. We're gonna go ahead and raise that one foot up. Sit like you're taking a knee, resting the hands on the thighs, shift it forward and stretching out that hip flexor, the front of the thigh here. Now I'm gonna give you one more thing to think about. Go ahead and start to squeeze that glute right there. And as you squeeze the glute, you're gonna feel the stretch get even greater through there. You guys feel it in there? You feel it at home? Yeah. Awesome, keep squeezing it right there. Beautiful, for four more seconds. Three, two, one, let's switch it up. Good. Lean into it. Now wait for it and squeeze the glute, there it is. <laughs> Excellent. Stretching out the front of that thigh. Feels good, especially after all those squats and those alternating back lunges. <sighs> Great job, guys. We're gonna hold this for just a few more seconds and the cool down's gonna be done. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Let's slowly stand it up, shake it out, roll those shoulders back. Give yourself a pat on the back because you did it. Congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself. Remember guys, this is level two. This isn't easy stuff. You progress. And level two is all about that challenge. You stepped up to that challenge. So keep it up day after day, week after week, month after month. You will transform. You will lose the weight. Keep it going. We'll see you next time. Guys, great job.
Great job, my man. 